Everybody, welcome to another episode of Marriage Matters. This is a podcast or show mm -hmm. or vodcast, whatever you want to call it, where we talk about the most important thing is what we talk about. Yes. And we talk about marriage. all things. Okay, marriage. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say all things relationships. Okay, do we want to start over? No, we can okay, keep going. Okay, well, keep it going. So hey, all things relationships. Yeah, right. we're keeping it real, right? Uh, my name is Glenn Coleman, and I'm joined, as always, by my beautiful, updated, look at this here. All right, I see you, girl. You like? Got your silky short going there. <laughs> uh-huh. Tell the people your name. Oh, I'm Tanya Coleman. Yeah. I'm his wife. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got her little, nice little cut now, you know, mm -hmm. a little upgrade on her. Okay. A little upgrade. You had to do okay. something different, ready you. to change it up a little I see bit. You. You're looking good, looking good. Okay, anyway, how you doing? Other I'm doing good. You got your new, your new dude. And I'm doing great. Doing really okay. good. Yeah. Feel how you feel. I feel awesome. Feel feel new. This is like the hair represents a new season in hey. my life. Mm. Yes, glory to God. Shaba. Yes. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. So, all right. Cool deal. Well, let's get into it. Let's man. do it. So um, this week, you know, we wanted to just talk to you guys. Actually, something, you know, what we we always, you know, one of our goals, one of our missions is to be a lighthouse home. And when Absolutely. we say that, we mean we want to be a house that is open um, for others to see um, what's going on in our house yeah. or in our lives and hopefully not just the good stuff, but the bad stuff as well. You mm -hmm. know, I always say, you know... The challenging stuff. Yeah, Instagram is, is and Facebook and all that stuff is great, but the thing about it is it only... I, I call it the 10%. Mm -hmm. It only shows you the ten, the good 10% right. of a person's life. Absolutely. And, and I think, you know, more often we need to talk about the not so good. Right, what's going on behind, behind and so, the scenes. you know, we had an instance that happened, what was that, last weekend or think, weekend? Yeah, last no, weekend. No, weekend. Weekend before, before last, last yeah. Um, and it wasn't nothing like major, but it's just one of those things that kind of caused us to look at some other areas mm -hmm. a little bit deeper. So what happened was Tanya, she wanted a new lamp for the house. And so, you know, I was like, okay, well, let's go look at some lamps. And she had this lamp in mind that she wanted. Mm -hmm. And when we got to the store to, to, and she showed me the lamp she wanted, I was like, no, nah, that we... That that's not the lamp. Yeah, he did the no. That's not the lamp with no smile. It was yeah, was it was like, dry. Nah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I just felt that for our look and for what we were going for, it wasn't gonna fit. And you know, well, I'm not gonna say it. Well, you, well, no, I'm not gonna say that. What? I was gonna say that lamp. I think it reminded me of a lamp that used to be in one of my uncle's houses, like in the '80s. Okay, but it was a much like it was contemporary. But I, guess, I guess it was you know the the hangover. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I don't want to I don't want to get back get into it. Okay, <laughs> unless she's starting to get mad again. No, I'm fine. But, I'm but, fine. And, and I was I was very and, and I was very like nah I don't like that I don't, we're not gonna mm -hmm. get that. Um, and I think what what else, what also put it over the edge was I asked the girls I was like what do y'all think mm -hmm. and they were like. Mm. <laughs> You know, and, and I, guess I was it, like, I'm the woman up in this house. Yeah. <laughs> and so like I after, didn't say that, but that's what I felt. So after we 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 decided not to get the lamp, and so we decided to get this other lamp that I really didn't like either. But at this point, I wanted because I at this point I realized I was like, uh oh, I think I'm upset. Yeah, because I kind of walked away and went and walked on another aisle. Yeah. So and I, then when they came. On that aisle, I went to another aisle. So <laughs> I, I was having all kind of feelings going on up yeah, there. So, I was, yeah. so I was like, well, let's get, get a lamp. So, mm -hmm. um, but when we got back home, and I'm, I'm just in my mind, I'm thinking, I'm like, man, I really, I really hurt her feelings. And even in the store, I, I think I apologized. You did. I'm like, you know, hey, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. You know, because that, but that's something, and it's funny because like we're all growing and we're mm -hmm. all trying to be our best self. Right. Um, and that's something that I've been working on to really speak up when you, when you don't like a thing or mm -hmm. you don't think a thing is right. Then like just I just give my honest right. opinion. Right. Um, but I don't think, and and I don't know. I guess hindsight is twenty twenty. But I think in that moment, if you would have said, "Hey, I really really want to get this lamp," mm -hmm. I think I would have said, "Okay, well, you know, if you really like it, get the mm -hmm. lamp." Mm -hmm. But my, what I guess what I want to get to, and that's why we 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 titled this podcast. 
It's not about the lamp. Mm -hmm. It's because when we got back home and we had an opportunity to really talk about it, some other things came out. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's what, you know, one of the things that we talked about while we were putting the notes together for this, this show is, you know, conflict. Conflict is always an opportunity. You right. have to look at conflict as an opportunity because a lot of times in your relationships, in your marriage, when there's conflict, conflict is usually an indicator that something else is, is going deeper on. is going mm-hmm. on. Mm-hmm. And so you don't ever want to take things, you know, for for the surface. Uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of times, I'll just say it this way, a lot of times it's not about the lamp. Mm-hmm. You know, and I really think that what upset you in the store, it wasn't, I mean, the lamp triggered it, but it was a lot more than the uh, than the lamp. Right. And so what I realized um, in the store, in the moment, I was like, OK, so am I the wife or not? You know, do I get to um, set the tone, not the tone, but the atmosphere um, in our home? You know, the the feeling, the experience that I want for our family to have when they come home as well as, you know, guests when we have people in our home. And so, um, you know, and I guess that's old school thinking too, you know, Mm -hmm. it's just like, you know, well, the wife, she makes all the decisions and the husband just, uh, pulls out the credit card, you know, (laughs) but, um, that was one thing. And so when we got home and we kind of talked about that, um, and I expressed that to you, you know, I also realized later, like last weekend, um, while I was going through, you know, the growth challenge. Shout out to growth challenge. Yeah, shout kitchen out to growth table. challenge at Mark the kitchen and Melissa table. Dunn, wow. Shout um, out, peace it out. It was phenomenal experience, <laughs> and I won't get off on that. We'll have to talk about that another time. But my emotions were already kind of boiling up with just a lot of personal things that have been going on, not even between you and I, but just in my, the family dynamics, you know, um, outside family dynamics. And so I think my emotions were a little heightened anyway. Mm -hmm. And then, so the lamp was just like, okay, I'm just done, Mm -hmm. you know? And so, Although I felt how I felt that, you know, hey, I, there's a certain atmosphere, environment that I want to set in my home, in our home for our family. Um, the emotional side of it was that I already was going through some things that I was processing on the inside. And you and I kind of, we talked about, you know, I had been talking ongoing about those things, but the emotions were still very raw. And so last week while going through um, the growth challenge, thank God for growth challenge. I was able to get a lot of that out, but I realized that things have been just sitting on the surface. And so I think that was the first real agitation, so to speak, that I had, um, in quite some time. So it was just like, okay, this is the moment where I feel really hurt, you mm-hmm. know? So, mm-hmm. and I think, and it th- wasn't about just the lamp. So one of the things that I really remember vividly from the conversation that we had after mm-hmm. we came back from the store is that you said something to the effect of that, you know, I feel like you don't value my ideas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's I, you, feel, you felt like every time, you know, you would, I make a suggestion, uh, make suggestion or I right. have an idea or I want to do something, um, there's always, I there's there, let me not say always, there's often a halt or a stop because you know, I am, uh, when I made up my mind or I have an idea, I'm ready to roll it out. Mm-hmm. And for you, it takes you a little bit more time to process. And so it, I have to slow down and pull back the ranks a little bit. And so when I said that, it's kind of like, because you give me the, well, I don't know, you sure? I don't think we need to do that right now. And I completely respect that. But in that moment, I was just like, okay, it's a lamp. (laughs) It's not just a lamp. But it's not just a lamp. (laughs) So, you know, and that that was very eye-opening to me Mm -hmm. because... You know, I thought in my mind, and this is so good because it shows you how, you know, it's like that um, example where, you know, I'm looking at a six this way and you're looking at it this way and you're right. saying it's a nine. And, right. and we, we actually, we we're both right. Right. 
But it's like in my mind, I thought that I pretty much gave you free reign and you could do, mm-hmm. you know, whatever you want to do. I never mm-hmm. held you back or I never. But you were saying, no, it's like you often mm-hmm. hold me back. And and, and I think for me, um, and, and I've said this, I think I've said this before on the show, it's like when it comes to money, and, and that's what it was for me. A lot mm-hmm. of times it's it's the spending of the money. Mm-hmm. It's, and and don't get me wrong, we do not spend money recklessly. Tanya mm-hmm. does not spend money recklessly. But I think a combination of two things, you know, there was a time in our life where, you know, we had some very, very difficult financial, mm-hmm. um, we struggled. Yeah, for and, a few years. Um, and so I, I always said, you know, I never, ever, ever, ever right. want to go back to that. And then I've said this before, I know it's like one of the things I can hear him now. My dad used to just drill mm-hmm. saving, saving, mm-hmm. saving. And now, you know, it's my, my mind is uh, so it's, it's, it has changed so much on that. You know, shout out to my boy, Jamal King. Mm-hmm. You know, he talks about how, you know, yeah, you could save money, but that money's not working for you. Right. So, you know, you need to learn how to transfer that money out of saving into investments and, right. and it cause that. But anyway, that's another podcast. Mm-hmm. But so it's like a lot of times when you would bring those ideas to me and I'm looking at it and I'm like, the first thing I always look at is, man, man, I don't want to spend it. I don't, right. don't want to see the account drop below this. Exactly. It's like <laughs> I love to see those zeros. I'm like, ooh, look at the zeros. Right. Sometimes I just pull the account up and look at it like, yeah. you know. And that's, for but, you, that's comforting. And it's security. Yeah, it's because, security. You know, I get it. You know, I get it. Because I it never, is for me too. You know, I never, like, when, when we were going through that, our girls were really little, and they didn't really understand and know what was right. going they, on. Right, they had no but clue. But now, you know, they've kind of become accustomed to a lifestyle, right. quote unquote lifestyle, and I never want them to be a, I never want them to, to experience what we experience. What we experience. Right. And so right. when 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 you want to do things, sometimes I know that for me is like I have to understand that just because we spend some money and enjoy life a mm-hmm. little bit, you know, we're not going to be broke. Right. You know, we're not going to, uh, you know, have to sell our home and move. Yes. You know, Amen. move back in with my mom or something like right. that. Right. You know, um, and that that's something that you know. Again, when I'm looking at it. I'm thinking I'm doing this for you guys, mm-hmm. you know, but you're looking at it like you're, you're stopping me from doing the things that I want to do. And that mm-hmm. really that you deserve to do, mm-hmm. you know? And it's like, you know, you want to get a lamp. You want to pay that much for a lamp? I mean, we got, we got lights, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we got these nice recess lighting, you know, we got the silly, got a light on the silly fan, <laughs> got a light over there by the door, got a chandelier, or like they say, a chandelier, <laughs> got a chandelier in the, in the dining room. You know, we got plenty of light. We got big, uh, full length, uh, you know, what is this, you know, the, the, the five foot, six foot windows. We got a lot of natural light coming in. So we don't, we don't speed up on the man. We don't need no more light, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. But it, for you, and and I understand that it was it was something to make the house look better, right? And so, right, yeah. And it's yeah, it's creating an environment and atmosphere so that that's one item or that space in the house. There's another item coming, so I'm prefacing that so if he can oh, prepare okay. his heart, okay, for <laughs> that's going to go in that space, you know, mm-hmm. as well because I see. Now that we've lived in our home for a while now, oh, okay, this would bring this feeling to the house. Mm-hmm. You know, this is what I want. This is what I what I like. And so to be able to do that is important for me, not just because I want to buy stuff for the house, mm-hmm. but like I said, there's an environment that I want to create a home for our house, for you our know, family. for our family mm-hmm. in our house. Yeah. And it's so, not, and for you, it's just not, it's not about spending money. It's no, about, no, you know, not, at all. not at all. Not at all. Because I too want to see the zeros in the, the, yeah. the money's adding up. And you know, account. it's like, I, 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 I go through these seasons. I think it's like, um, and this is another growth, growth challenge mm-hmm. thing I learned. And uh, Michelle LeBlanc, who's, who's just awesome uh, lady. Um, she was uh, one of the facilitators when I did growth challenge, the first one, GC1. And she was saying how. You know, growth is like a rubber band, mm-hmm. and she's like, you know, you could you you stretch it, mm-hmm. 
But when you, it goes back. It goes back, right. And then you have to keep stretching it. Right. And eventually right. it's going to grow a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not all the way where it was stretched, but right. you got what I'm saying. Right. And so I know that there was a time where, um, you know, we, you, you, we, we were, I, I was getting better mm -hmm. at, um, you know, you know, enjoying life and yeah. rewarding. We, we work hard, so let's mm -hmm. play hard, mm -hmm. you know, um, but I think. One of the things is like, you know, with everything that's going on in the world right, right now, it's right. like, I'm it's like, being okay, more mindful. yeah, we need mm -hmm. to double down on, on it. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, cause it's like, you know, I remember, uh, so, you know, we went to, uh, we were shopping and we were in Lafayette for the weekend. Um, and, uh, we went to Macy's and, <laughs> uh, now the store is closing down. Everything's on clearance. Right. I mean, you know, 60, 70% off. And I bought a couple of shirts. And uh, and Tanya was like, "That's that's all you you just bought two shirts." I was like, "Yeah." She's like, "Well, how much how much were the shirts?" I was like, "Oh, they were four dollars a piece." Four dollars. So she was like, "Well, how much how much were they uh, normally?" I was like, "Oh, they was probably like fifty bucks or something like that." I don't know. <laughs> She's like, "Well, you could at least bought enough to equal well, I'm like, the just amount." Spend, at least spent twenty dollars. Yeah, but I was like, "No, nah, I'm good. I got two. You know, so I spent like ten dollars, got two shirts. You know." Oh, and yeah. she was like, "You know, babe, you know, it's okay, but that's just." And you deserve it. I know. I know. I'm trying. <laughs> but you know, and it's like the other side of it for me is it's like, man, I would I would rather spend that money on you guys. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like I don't need, I don't that's like, you know, and you know me, I, I yeah. don't need, I'm not a a gifts right. person. Right. So I don't need a lot. But I don't think uh four dollar shirts are, are gifts. It's no, like but you, you know. just you know, so so that's why it kind of brings me to my next point is it's so important to know your spouse's personality. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and that's why things like, you know, the disc assessment mm -hmm. um, that we do with couples um, and pretty soon we're going to be doing uh, becoming certified in another assessment called the flight assessment, mm -hmm. which I think really, really, really shows couples how to work together right. and use their personalities together. Right. Um, because it's like for you. Um, and we'll, I kind of go another one, the love languages, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, that's one of my favorites. One of your, um, top love languages is gifts. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's not that you are a, um, a materialistic Material person. Yeah, person. No. It's just that that's the way you perceive mm -hmm. love. I, I feel like you've thought of me when I wasn't with you, mm -hmm. um, I didn't have to tell you that I wanted something or that I liked this because usually um, the things that I value and appreciate the most are, I mean, things that I know you've actually put some thought into, you mm -hmm. know, um, you know that I enjoy flowers, you know, mm -hmm. so when you bring me flowers, it's just like, wow, you know, I love it, you know, or my dark chocolates, you know, I love dark chocolates with raspberries. Um, I think the, was it Mother's Day when you guys brought me the weighted blanket? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I was just like overjoyed. I think I sat and I just hugged it for a few <laughs> minutes because I was like, that was like one thing that, and I could have bought it for myself, sure, but I kept putting it off and putting it off. Mm -hmm. And then it was my favorite color, gray. Uh, is that a color, favorite color? Yes, it is. It's mm -hmm. a neutral. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I felt like, okay, my family really thought about their gifts giving because when I give gifts, I really think about mm -hmm. my gift giving and I want to wrap it up in a nice bow, you know, do the whole nine. And Glenn's like, you don't have to do all that. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Because it's important to me how that gift is received. It's kind of like, you know, uh, when Vanessa brought Dabney's home. Oh, yeah, yeah. And Clip, you know, she was, all, you know, oh, this we're engaged. Cosby the Cosby Show. Cosby show. Cosby you know, Cosby she's show. like, oh, we're engaged. We're engaged. And they're just finding out she's engaged. And it's like a year later. And he told him, he said, man, he said, it's not you. He said, you could be the perfect guy, a banker or whatever, but it's how she brought you to me. Mm -hmm. You know, she brought you in here on a garbage can lid. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> I never want to just give someone something haphazardly. I wanted to feel like I put thought in it. Mm -hmm. And so when I receive gifts, to me, it's because you put thought into it and you thought about me. Mm -hmm. And that's why they mean, why mm -hmm. it means so much to me. Yeah. And so, you know, 
this this thing, you know, it started off with just a lamp yeah. in the store. But, you know, because I think, you know, we've become so um we 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 are committed to doing the work mm-hmm. um to make our not only our marriage better better but ourselves better. Yeah. You know, I was talking with someone the other day and I was telling them how, you know, and I think I've said this before on the podcast is that, you know, now when I feel a certain way or when things happen, you know, I, I understand that, you know, like I said, it's this a lot of times we get angry and it's not about that. It's mm-hmm. something deeper. And mm-hmm. so, you know, whenever you and your spouse or whatever relationship you're dealing with, whenever there is conflict, you know, use that as an opportunity to really examine, okay, what's what's really going on? on it? Is it really about the lamp or right. is it really about you know, Tanya, she really felt like I wasn't valuing her. Mm-hmm. And then I can't say, well, yeah, of course I value you. You know, I, I had to really step back and say, well, you know, do I really value her opinion? Mm-hmm. And and he, the more important thing is, is her perception or how she needs to feel valued. I think that's so good. I how think, you need to yes. feel. And so for her to get this lamp for her home makes her feel like she's doing she's she's preparing a place Mm -hmm. for her family to make the home nicer Mm -hmm. you know and i know we're harping on this lab and i I know you guys are saying it's just a lamp but what it's something else for you for you what is it it's it's just the you know it but it's not just about that it's something deeper right you know and then you know i guess the the last thing i'll talk about is even in that Mm-hmm. And like I said, I, I don't know for whatever reason I decided to make this lamp. And you know, again, it's just one of those things where sometimes you just say things and you don't realize mm-hmm. the the impact. And mm-hmm. you know, you just say it. sometimes you just say it in passing, right? You know, and it's you don't realize the impact. Mm-hmm. But you know, typically, you know, I have this rule, and so that's what I'm saying. I don't know why I decided to make a stance on this lamp. I don't know. I don't know. Mm-hmm. It was hot outside or something. I don't know. <laughs> we in quarantine, all kind of stuff. Just like you know, it comes out, but, but I, we work through it. <laughs> I have this rule: is that I make stances on principles and not preferences. Mm-hmm. So really, when it comes down to it, that lamp was really a preference. Yeah, and because it doesn't matter what lamp you bought, mm-hmm. it's really not going to change the moral or. Even financial, and I guess maybe that's the way I saw it was like, okay, money, spending money equals, Mm -hmm. you know, maybe we may need that because we don't know what's going to happen, you know, whatever, whatever. But my thing is like, I I usually don't take a stand on preferences. Mm -hmm. I I, I tend to take a stand on principles. And what I've learned is that a lot of times if you can yield to preferences, um, you're more apt to have your spouse agree with you on the principles. Right. You know, and because you don't want to, and I've noticed this with, with my, with my kids is like when you constantly are saying no, mm-hmm. it's like, I don't know, it, to me, that just does something to a person Yeah. to where you always just say, no, not right they now, feel shut no, down. no, not right now, mm-hmm. no, not right now. Mm-hmm. You know, and I know if Bailey ever watches this, she's going to be like, well, what about the dog? I'm like, okay, no, not right no, now. not right now. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, so it's like, you know, I, I, I'm, I, I, I want to be in the place to where I'm like, you know what, I, I, I don't, it's like, that's you do, do, you know, do you, and I do value you and I do value your opinion. So I'm not going to really, you know, like I said, make that the hill I die on is, right. a, is a lamp, right. you know, right. which at the end of the day is really not going to uh, break the bank. And so. You know, what I had to do was I had to say, you know, I apologized mm-hmm. and I allowed her to go and get a, not even that lamp, that original lamp she wanted. Actually, the lamp she got was even more expensive. So I don't know if she was, if she was trying to, uh, <laughs> I don't know if she was trying to get back at me or whatever. No, I, I really wasn't. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but so this It was lamp, at a different store having an amazing sale, great quality lamp for okay. 60% off. I was like, anyway. yeah, this... This this why the other lamp had to stay there, really. So it was all see, I was operating in the Holy Spirit. See, if I let you get that lamp, then you never got the one you really wanted. Don't blame the Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. So yeah. So so we just wanted to, to just bring that to you guys, and, and even to let you know, it's like again, we always say this, but you know, we're not perfect. You know, we're just. You know, we're two people who have made a lifetime commitment to working on marriage and mm -hmm. to to empower and enhance relationships. Absolutely. And that starts with us yep. first. Always us first. And so there's always, there's ne there's going to be times where, you know, you don't see eye to eye, you don't agree all the times, but, you know, our goal every week is to come to you and give you strategies and solutions mm -hmm. and tools to help you work through those things, you know, and, and. You know, so a couple of things just to recap. Well, I'll tell you what, you want to do the ad before we, we uh, wrap things up? Um, Yeah, sure. Oh, you weren't ready for that? Uh, wasn't ready because I was listening to you intently, but I can go. Go. Okay. So Go, goalie. Let's go, go, goalie. <laughs> yeah. So we would like to thank our partner, Goalie Nutrition, the world's first, first apple cider vinegar gummies. Now you can get the, the amazing benefits of apple cider vinegar without that not so amazing taste. If you've ever done ACV shots, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, two of these gummies equals one um, shot of ACV. And guess what? You can get 5% off of your order if you go to go.goli.com. That's go.goli.com. Go forward slash marriage matters use promo code marriage matters for five percent off of your order go get you some yep we love it we use yes it. we do so anyway so in closing i just want to kind of wrap this thing up put okay. a nice little bow on it but the first thing is understand this that conflict is not about just the conflict sure and you know Use conflict as an opportunity to grow. Mm -hmm. You know, don't don't shy away because a lot of times, you know, when we have conflict, we want to walk away from it, we want to run from it, or we want to we want to put it under the rug. Mm -hmm. um, and now you don't want to get to the place to where you know you guys are you know fussing, fighting, and, and yeah, you know, you don't want the blue light. Conflict gets up. a bad resolution. I mean, uh, a bad. Reputation. Reputation. That's the word I was okay. looking for. Um, it doesn't have to be all of that fussing right. and fighting. Didn't it, mean to cut you right. off. It just came to me. Okay. <laughs> no, but you know, I always say you don't want the blue light showing up at right. your house. You don't want they when they was peeking through the window. What's going on mm -hmm. over there? You don't want that. But at the same time, use that conflict to say, okay, what's going on here? What's really going on? Is it really just a? Is it really the lamp, mm -hmm. or is it something deeper? Right. Um, the other thing that we talked about is um you know preferences versus principles mm -hmm. you know are you are you going to stand on something you know the, the color of the walls it really didn't matter all that right. much right you know is that where you're going to are you going to die on that hill right you know and then the other thing is to really understand i think one of probably one of the most important things that we talked about today was understanding your spouse's personality understand Absolutely. understand what makes them tick mm -hmm. you know if, if you've never done a um a personality test i know we we like i said right now we're using the disc uh mm -hmm. dis kit i mean disc mm -hmm. um analysis with our couples and it just kind of tells you you know your personality and what that means and so mm -hmm. it's not so when i take my disc analysis it's not for me to say okay i'm a i'm this and i'm that it's really for tanya to say oh he's this and he's right. that so if i'm right. going to deal with him I need to to do this or give it to him this way right. or present it to him right. this way or right. you know even with the, like the love languages it's not mm -hmm. for me to say oh I'm I'm physical touch I'm physical touch right. no it's for me to know her right. love language so I can know uh gifts and and words of affirmation so right. I need to make sure that along with everything else that I'm doing that I'm giving her a lot of gifts mm -hmm. and I mean we don't like she said it's not like big things all the time just mm -hmm. little things mm -hmm. uh and words of affirmation yeah or in quality time. Yes, yes, uh, definitely so, quality time. So, um, so, so, you don't have to do those specific ones, but there mm -hmm. are there are a ton of personality um, evaluations out yeah, there. Yeah, you have to know yourself, know yourself, and know your partner. Yeah, that's important. Yeah, and that's that's important too, knowing yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, because you know, like I said, you know, I thought. In my mind, that I was valuing her opinion, mm -hmm. and I was, but and again, 
is not just what I think. Because mm-hmm. I could see it one way. I'm saying it's a six. She's saying it's a nine. We're both right. right. But it's not until you actually come to the table and say, oh, wait. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, I mm-hmm. see. When Let's you say it, I don't mm-hmm. value your ideas, here's what you're actually saying. Right. Because I'm saying it from a different way. Right. So, oh, okay, I see. I see. And mm-hmm. then I can then I can make those adjustments. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, we can that's what we call so that, uh, making adjustments is called growth. Yeah. And that's how you have that that's how you have a great marriage. That's yeah. how you have great relationships. That's how you keep things fresh and keep things mm-hmm. growing, mm-hmm. keep things evolving. Right. I'm looking for a word. Uh, keep things keep getting better. Uh, that that's how Gooder good. <laughs> that's how good goes from. That's how good goes to great. Yeah. And great goes to best, and yeah. best goes to better, and better goes on forever. To amazing. What I like that. It's I want to write baby. that down. Okay. <laughs> anyway, you got anything else to say about that? No, I um uh, I love you. Oh, I love you too. Yeah. You look good, girl. Thank you. I like your haircut. Thank you. Mm-hmm. All right, back to the audience. Yeah, okay. Oh, I forgot y'all were here. <laughs> so anyway, that's all we have for you this week. Um, just remember, guys, it's all about growth. All about growth. Look, we're in this thing together. If you need help, get help. Reach yes. out. You can yes. reach out to us. There are plenty of other um, marriage champions out there. Um, go see a counselor, whatever you got to do mm-hmm. to work through the conflict, to work through the issue. Don't just sweep that stuff under the rugs. Please. Don't, don't just, you know, because I'm telling you, it's not just about the lamp. It's not about that. It's, so, it's something deeper going mm-hmm. on. Um, and, and if you don't find out, you know, that's like your check engine light, right? Mm-hmm. And if you don't go get that checked out, then eventually... Something that's, that's going to cause something else to break down. That's going to cause something else to break right. down. You're going to wind up having to get a whole new car. Right. If you don't deal with it, it will deal with you. Come on now, sister. You just said something. So on that note, this is Glenn and Tanya Coleman reminding you that your, your marriage, marriage matters. matters. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys.